Hi guys, this is Nataraj. I back with the other video. Today I am going to talk about that Kubernetes node code and VS node train. Yeah, before jumping into the uh, difference in between that code and, and the train, so we will be talk about what is the need of these things. The Kubernetes node need to occasionally maintaining is required. So you need to update the node kernel versions or resign that compute resource in your cloud also that replacing that hardware component in the self-managed so in this case the kubernetes code and on train or the two mechanism you can use to safely to prepare for the node downtime what is the different between the cube cuttle code and, and cube cuttle train command the code is just for preventing the pod to be scheduling on the node and the trains also evision all the pod from the node so when you executing the cube cuttle code and command as the result the pod was not moved or deleted from the node but the node is the status showing as a scheduling disabled so the newer pod will won't be that scheduling on that their node whereas cube cuttle drain command as the result the pod were ejecting from that existing node and starting the newer pod on that another node so we will be see on the demo pod i am moving to the terminal Right now I am at the terminal, I am going to validate how many number of the node is running on my existing EKS clusters. I am executing that kubectl cuttle command to get the node. Yeah, in my case you can see the thing that two node is running on, the status is showing as ready. I am going to deploy the ingenious application using kubectl command. create deployment nginx just i'm allocating a name and then image name equal to nginx just i'm executed yes uh, now deployment command is successfully executed we will be cause verify that the pod is up and running or not so cube cuttle get node hyphen zero wide option so using the wide option will be come to know the pod is running on which node in my case the pod is running on that 10.0.5.44 uh, node so i am going to executing that uh, code and command qcuttle code and i copied that node name just i am entered it here yeah, now the code and command is executed. Yeah, now I am going to execute that uh, cube cuttle get command. Yeah, you can see the status of that uh, node. Scheduling is disappeared, which means that uh, the newer part it be won't scheduling there. So now I am going to executing that uh, pod command. The using of wide option yeah you can see the thing the still this pod is running on the same node it be won't allow to executing the newer pod only but the existing pod will be won't affected anything so if you want to revert back the previous stage so then you have to executing the kubectl encode and command provided that uh, node name Again, you executing the node command. Now you can see that the node status. Now the scheduling disable option is that uh, disappeared. So in this way, we can able to work on that uh, code and command. Let's move to the train command. Now we can execute that node command. Yeah, two node is status is ready. Again, I can go into execute that pod command with a wider option. Yeah, the pod is running on that ten dot zero dot five dot forty four node. Yeah, now I'm going to execute that cube cuttle train command. Cube cuttle train. 
and provided that nodal name and then also I can add the additional parameter called ignore uh, daemon set sometime you cannot able to delete the daemon set part so in this case we have to add that uh, ignore daemon set flag ignore Okay, so it asking to use that uh, delete empty directory data basically the volume uh, context or lost when the pod is deleted so I can use this para parameter as well as now I entered these things yeah we successfully execute the train command also that uh, our nginx pod is that uh, evicted just I'm executing that uh, pod command. Yeah, now you can see the thing the node is running on that uh, 10.0.4.211, but it be earlier running on that uh, 44. So this is the comparison between the each one. Now I check that node status command. Yes, the one of the node will be still showing as that scheduling disappeared because earlier we are executing the train command now. So that was the reason. So now I'm going to executing that uncode and command to release that train option. And to provide the name of the node. Yes, command is executed. I can execute the node command. Yes, now the status is ready, both of uh, node. That's all this video.